Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Sukabada Baba Shakayata. We thank you, Holy Spirit of God. We give you glory, we give you praise. Kabadu Busu Kada Baba Bashata. Oh, we thank you, mighty man in battle. No one is greater than you, Jesus. We give you glory, we give you praise. Kabada Basu Kalata. It's another moment in the presence of the Lord. Father, we thank you. We thank you for what you're about to do in this session. We thank you for the lives you're about to touch in this session. Make de bo su kada baba shakayate erwa katen daraba shakayato su kalata. Father, we give you glory, we give you praise. No one is greater than you, Jesus. No one can ever take your place for you. Remember the same. Ma sina baba ba shikalata e moko shina la kan sokoloto i kabala ko shakala ko suana kalesa erwa tata te shakayata. Ibarwa kate ya nakaso kolotosha. Esu magabada basu kabalate shaka. We thank you, Holy Spirit of God. E kobron todobo shakayata. No one is greater than you, Jesus. No one is greater than you, Jesus. No one can ever take your place for you remain the same. You are greater than what people say you are. You are mightier than what people say you are. Somebody lift up your voice and begin to thank the Lord. Begin to exalt the name of Master Jesus. He alone is worthy of our praise. He alone is worthy of our worship. He alone is worthy of our everything. Somebody open your mouth. Baraka pesa kapalate shaka. Mazoko poloto la kaparakate shaka. Esa mago bronzo kopoyo to shaka ila broko su gabada ba shaka yate ila bronzo kopoto la kabaru akate ya manatesha e baru atesha makate ya katesha Father, we thank you. We thank you. Holy Spirit of God, we thank you. The mighty man in battle, we thank you. The lily of the valley, we thank you. The bright morning star, we thank you. No one is wiser than you, Jesus. No one can ever take your place for you. Remember the same. You are lifted above any other name. You are greater above any other name. Father, I thank you for each and every one that is connecting to this live session. Father, I thank you for their lives. I thank you for their families. I thank you for what you're about to do. Makabana baba shakate alada iza para na ba shana na 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 kaya tadera ila bo 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 shama gabala baba ba soko maze brada na bo shana na na kaya tola ida brada baba suka lata da goshi kalata beloved charge up yourself in your most holy faith by speaking in the Holy Ghost a close mouth is a close destiny you are in the presence of the Lord the Bible says. The presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy and there is liberty. It is that moment for you to lift up your voice and begin to express yourself before Him. He is the God of every good things on earth. Great people of God, begin to talk to your Father. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Abba Father. We thank you, mighty man in battle. We thank you for this awesome day. We thank you for making it possible for us to be here. It's not by mind, not by power, but by the Spirit of the Holy Ghost. It's not by mind, not by power, but by the Spirit of the Holy Ghost. We cannot do it on our own, Lord. We thank you for everything. Ega bronton shama kaperwa kateya kotom pasi alate 
Abarua kate shakala kate ya igwa broko to shakale kosoto zakante de debo shakaya te ya le brusa brado do shakapa ya karuate ya iga brogon sukalata the provider of every good things on earth. Lord, we thank you for today. We thank you, Lord, for what you're about to do. We thank you for what you're about to do, Jesus. We thank you for the things you have done. We thank you for the things you are still to do. No one is wiser than you, Jesus. No one can ever take your place for you. Remember the same. You are wiser than what people say you are. You are greater than what people say you are. Father, we thank you. We thank you. Without you, we are nothing. Without you, we are empty vessels. Without you, Lord, we wouldn't have seen this day. But you make it for us to be to make it possible for us. But you made it possible for us. Some slept and died this morning. Right now, as we speak, oh Lord God, some are critically ill in the hospital. But we are strong and capable. It's not by mind, not by power, but by the spirit of the Holy Ghost. Beloved, begin to charge up your spirit. A grateful heart. You will remain grateful to God. You will be thankful to him. Now, Father, we are thankful for what you have done. Masina baba baba shaka ya te ya ila grogo bo shaka baba baba sokoloto ina pron soko parua ka te ya ila gro shaka tente ha ha ya na te ya le pron to shama kwa go parua ka le ya ta ila godo do bo shaka he he ala kon sokoloti ya ga bo shaka i parua ka te shi na bala ban soko masa brogo shaka ya kansa I begin to pray for each and every one that is present here for distance is not a barrier but as they have come in here, Lord God, you begin to meet them at the very point of their need in the mighty name of Jesus. No one come into the presence of the Lord and go back the same. Father, your people are here. Some have come with burdens in your heart. Some have come with heavy load. Some have come, oh Lord, with worries in their minds. Only you can do what no man can do, Jesus. Only you can change that situation in which they are going through. Oh, let you, Lord God, and show yourself to them that you are God. Maka brusi baraka peshaka. Oh, let you can reverse it and bring it back to positive. Neko braka shina bada bonsoko. La kwa kura kuta te parwa teya. Le brodo do 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 bon shana kante. Ah, la da 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 boshaka. The God that never fails. The God that never disappoints. Lord, we are here again to return all shikalata. To return all the glory and adoration. Mako brusuka baro akatea le bro konto shana katenka na konto tala konto abarua ka konto rua kate shaka e duza beru so barua katea e le rua koto bon shaka latia ka e somo ko bro so kopia katea ka we bless your name king of glory we bless your name mighty man in battle the god that always answer whenever we call no one is bigger than you jesus no one is greater than you jesus no one can ever take your place for you remain the same mako bruku bada ban shake perwa katen soko ay 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 koton shaka ya te ya yes 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 begin to charge up your soul begin to pray begin to pray a close mouth is a close destiny a mako ro bobo shaka ya ta that thing that has been disturbing you you are in the right place to begin to confess it right now you are in the right place to get talk to god you are in the right place to talk to your father don't let it all shock over katia don't let this opportunity to pass you by. The Bible says in the book of Agai 2 verse 9, oh, the glory of the latter house shall be greater than that of the former. <laughs> there will he build his peace. The Lord has established peace in the heart of someone. Which means the Bible is simply explaining that yesterday cannot be better than today. You might have a, one, a, 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 a miserable day yesterday. You might have a, a, a knockdown day yesterday 
Uh, today it's another day. Agabana koshikalata. It's not gonna be the same. Emma kobaru akate shakayata. It's not gonna be the same because the Lord is fixing things for you. The Lord is working things for your good. The Lord is fixing things for you. The Lord is working things for your good. Mashina bada go soko paru akate. Ella baba soko shakaya. Ima kobobobobobo shagabaya katesha. The Lord is working things for your good in the mighty name of Jesus. I say Yahweh is working things for your good in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. We give you glory, we give you praise. Only you can do what no man can do, Jesus. Only you can change that doctor's report. Only you can fix that doctor's report. Only you can touch the life of your people. Only you can make their lives hold again. Only you can break that curse. Only you can break that limitation. Only you can break that stagnation. Aya na koko sabaya kateya ha ala drogo ba shakaya katanta ha e barua katen shaka para kateya aya ko shekete lekete 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 maso broko to shaka pronso kopa yakia e grupo suka parua kateya aya katen shaka ban shaka teya maso go barua kate shaka lata father begin to touch them begin to touch them begin to touch your people begin to touch their lives begin to touch their families begin to touch them begin to touch them in the mighty name of Jesus. I said begin to touch them, begin to touch them, begin to touch your people, begin to touch their families, begin to touch their children, begin to touch their businesses, begin to touch whatever thing they are doing in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, begin to touch their ministry. Essa godo boyo ko yo konia kalateya mata prusa bika rakosha nakaya aya koso koto loto loto makabaru akatesha nakateya oh the god of signs and wonder lord e koso ko shiga lakateya e mazoko pruan suka prekateya le prusa prisha kaha e nakosha prekateya kata e zoko to poroko to ya konsha kapariate adobro shaka pia kalakeya e godo ko su Father Lord, begin to touch them, begin to touch them. Imakada bala koto lo koto lo koto. Ezekon shaka paria kate katonsa. Ebrisi galako shaka. We thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Father, I thank you for your touch. I thank you, Lord God, because you are breaking every curse that is speaking against us. Mashi managabo shaka yata. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mashi makaproko shaka yata. Ezekon shaka paria katonsa ka. Ngama nangana iko ruaka teshi kalata esu gabara koshi kalata esa makoshi kalata meko zika ya koshi kalate esi kalata na boshi kalata esa kala konsha kapaya tesha eku braga de si kalata e kamara gada boshi kalata e makrusa makesha kaya teya e ruaka da baso kopo yoko tosha ina krusa mana kaya kata kala kate kala ka e ruaka tesha ka le krusa mana koshi kalate yaka aya ya 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 I ruako shika ruaka te suma baraka te ya elego bon saka pia kate shaka e ruaka te sabri shata in the mighty name of Jesus in Jesus precious name Amen I make a prophetic declaration on that grace by the reason of your presence in this service as you are connecting right now as your hearts are lifted up to heaven amakana mama mashia galapa tayeka. As you are connecting to this place, I mean, as you're connecting right now, as your hearts are lifted up to heaven, God is meeting you at the very point of your need in the mighty name of Jesus. I said, the Lord is meeting you at the very point of your need in the mighty name of Jesus. I don't know that thing that you have been going through. I don't know the pain in which you are passing through. But I make a prophetic declaration high in under the grace of my father. I decree and declare God is showing up for you and your family in the mighty name of jesus i say god is showing up for you and your family in the mighty name of jesus in jesus precious name amen hallelujah glory to god shalom family i welcome each and everyone joining us for this live session and if this is your first time of coming this is the atmosphere of possibilities with sister iris thank you so much for joining this amazing family god bless you hallelujah do not forget to make us family 
Don't forget to subscribe and you turn on your notification bell. Whenever I'm live, you will be the first to know. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let me use this opportunity to welcome each and everyone that is present here. Ah, Kabalaba Shikalata. Mommy Clemens, you're welcome in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for coming. It's always an honor to have you here. Thank you so much. Sister Jessica, I see you. You're welcome. God bless you. Thank you for coming. King Bethel, you're welcome. God bless you. Anthony Joseph, you're welcome. God bless you. Magdalene Gabas, you're welcome. God bless you. Devoted, uh, Devonte, you're welcome. God bless you. Hallelujah. Sonel Lepodin, woman of God, you're welcome. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you. It's always an honor to have you here. Mom KPL, you're welcome. God bless you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Who have I not mentioned the name? As your comment goes up, I'm seeing you. Oh, Benita G, you're welcome. God bless you. Hallelujah. Ah, Danette Brown, you're welcome. God bless you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Masuka Laba Shikalata. Esigaban Shemenekelete. Family, it's another day. And this is the day the Lord has made for us to rejoice and be glad in it. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. I came to understand that the reason why some people's blessings are not manifesting is because a curse was being laid on your head. Talking about curses, so many people can make curses due to their intention. Like, like they can make curses, they can, they can curse you by their words, by saying it, because they mean it. But some people, they have words that are powerful and they don't have to use their tongue anyhow because of what they said. It is now working against you. And when the Lord began teaching me this, he says, curses, some people do, some people can do it intentionally and some people might do it and they don't know that it is actually affecting you. Some might just do it out of slippery of tongue. They just, that maybe that tongue just said something, whereas they just thought they were just playing. Now it came and now it's working against you. So we are going to pray. A lot of us are suffering for something we don't know about. Maybe because your father or your mother was involved in something, you know, their parents cursed them or said something that is not working now for their children and they cannot even excel in life because the curse that was being spoken over their life is working against us. Maybe a word was being spoken. Literally, it's not even a curse, but it's working now like a curse that is consuming their whole generation. You are going to pray. Whoever cursed me and says, nothing good can come out of me. Somebody might just look at you and says, look at you, nothing good can come out of you. That's the reason why you don't play with curse. My spiritual father always taught us, he says, whenever it comes to your destiny, whenever your destiny is on the table, don't keep quiet. Make sure you say something. If somebody say something that is not good to you you have to stand up on your feet and say i rebuke it in the name of jesus back to sender if that person that is saying that thing knows that it's actually evil when you say back to sender the person will tell you god forbid just because they know that it is evil so don't keep quiet whenever your destiny is on the table whenever they are speaking anything that concerns your destiny whenever they are speaking anything that concerns anything that concerns your generation you don't have to keep quiet because why if you keep quiet it might manifest and without you knowing we are going a lot, we are suffering with a lot of things because they have been saying things and we have been keeping quiet. We just look at it like this person is a joke. Maybe this person was just making a clown and this, and at the end of the day, it turned on start affecting you. It is affecting a lot of people. You work all your life, you till from now to tomorrow. Money cannot stand in your hand. No matter the amount of money you have, you cannot do anything tangible with it. When they ask you give an account of what you have done with that money. So you are going to pray. Whoever cursed me, that is working against me. Whoever said a word, that is working against me. It expired in the name of Jesus. It expired in the name of Jesus. Maybe you grew up in a family that you are so many. We are you, you are so many as as, as girl, uh, female children. And they said that look at your, your children. I don't think they will ever get married. And you look at and you're loving. And yes, keep passing. Nobody is getting married. Yes, keep passing. Nobody is getting married. And some women say nobody will even build a house. Yes, keep passing. Nobody is building a house. That just, just that word alone is working against your family. It is working against your children. And you are so ignorant about it. 
because you kept quiet, because your destiny was being mentioned on a platform that God wanted you to speak, because he has given you the authority, all what it takes. You did not speak to reverse that curse. Now it is working against you and your children. No wonder they get to a certain level, they cannot have anything to show for them. They get to a certain level, but they are still in your home. They cannot even fend for themselves. They are still looking up to you. It is not wise. It is because maybe somebody said something. And I must say something to my mothers and my fathers that are watching me right now. If you have a child, no matter how that child gets you upset, please be careful the way you say word. Be careful. Words are seed. Be careful. I remember when we were growing up with my elder sister, the person I'm directly behind. She might be watching. When we were growing up, and she was pregnant, and she never wanted to see me. And at that moment, I was like, why do you hate me so much? She said to me, I don't want to see you with my eyes, and God forbid that I gave birth to a child like you. I'm like, am I bad? She says, no, I'm not bad. Yet. That thing, I just tell her that she, in fact, she disliked me. I said, you carry me when I was little. And a matter of fact, we are growing together. Now, you become of age and you don't want to see me. She says she does not want to see me. One day, she, when she put to bed, I noticed that it started reduce. The, 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 the way she was feeling towards me started reduces. And she was refusing me not to carry her child. And I have my friend who always comes to the house. She will give the child to her. She will be the one to maybe wash the child. She might be looking for dresses. She does not want me to partake. I'm like, hey, give me the child. And she gave birth to a a baby girl. So one day, I took the child from her. She says, the reason why she disliked me, she does not want me to come in here, her child, or when, when she was pregnant with that child, is because when I'm done working with house choices, I don't like go, going out, visiting friends, and she does not like friends, she does not like, I'm somebody, I'm people's people. So I'm so much into friends. So she was saying that, that those are attributes, she, don't, she does not like, she does not even like those attributes about me. I told her that, okay, no problem. I know what to do. So one day, she, she, she was busy. I took the baby. I took Gina. And I went out with Gina and I said to her, I said, your mother dislike me. I don't know why. I was talking to the child. She was very little and she was three months then. I was talking to her. I said, your mother disliked me and I don't know why. When you grow up, you'll be exactly like me. That's what I told her. I said, to love people, you will love people. You, you, you will serve. You would, I said, I said, you will be like me. She said, she doesn't like, you will make friends. I speak to that child, behold, people of God. I'm the one begging the child. My mom will call me, say, I beg, come and remove that, that word that you, you spoke. Then when I came and gave back the child, she asked me, why you come and I said, no, sorry. I just went to straw and, and the, the baby was crying. And we were busy in the kitchen. She said, okay, give me the child. And I, when, when, when now the child was eight months, I told her, what you hate about, what you hate, the things you hate about me. This your same child will produce them. I said, she will be exactly like me. You will see it. She looked at me and says, God forbid. I said, okay, let's see. As this child start growing, she's 12 of age now. Behold, people of God. She loves friends. She loves making friends. This child will come and pass in front of my, my shop. Like I'll be calling Gina. She's going, down, Mama, please, I'm coming here. I want to see one of my friends up here. I have one behind the house. I have two this way. I have to read this way. I said, because you dislike me. So I spoke a word. I said, this child will grow up. She will be exactly like me. So I used to look for friends. I love friends too much. Oh, my God. Mother is here. Oh, prophetic. Prayers and prophetic with Pastor Ethel. Thank you so much, Mother. Thank you for coming. It's always an honor to have you on this platform. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, I can see prophetic hour of worship with Sister Jessie. Thank you, woman of God. Thank you for coming. So, she will... She's laughing because <laughs> she's she's laughing because she knows the child. Mother, you know, you know the story. I said kind all kinds of words. I said she will be like me. Now this child has grown exactly like me. Every day the, my, 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 my own mother will call me and say, Mommy, I beg. Come and remove what you I don't understand. Today is this friend, tomorrow is this friend. And uh, mom wants to go and visit that one day. It's another one that way. You don't know this, my friend. If you see her, I'll bring another one tomorrow. I have four in church. I have five uh, behind the house. I, I, I have three. That's how they are seeing me. Words. Because she disliked me. And she never wanted me to carry her baby that I love friends too much. 
When I'm done with chores, I just like to go out of the house. I cannot even stay in the house. I'm like, okay. I used to hear that words I see. Look at what is manifesting over this little girl. Because I spoke a word. So sometimes some people use words without knowing. It starts working on you because somebody said something. We are suffering because they said something to our parents that is affecting us, the children. Words are seed. You are a mother in the house, you are a father in the house. Be careful with the kind of words you say to your children. Whenever you are angry, just pray to God. If you can cry, go to your room and cry about it and talk to God. And let him help you and take away this, this anger. Before you say a word that is going to turn their lives upside down. But one thing I now I came to understand, the mother told me one thing. Uh, I, I, I love the way she is, but for the fact that she loves friends, you, you already said it. I have nothing to say because you told me that this is what you did. I confess it to her. I says, but he, he, he says, no, but I just like the fact that when she gets angry, she doesn't angry, she's not angry for long. She really knows how to make someone feel comfortable. She's social. I'm like, okay, thank you. So there are some things she loves about her, but also the fact that she never wanted me with friends is still with her. You cannot leave her because I said it and it is manifesting. Not because I love it. She came here yesterday, Mama, I made it. Okay, okay, let me see your report card. She came here to show me. I said, but you went a little bit behind. But congratulations, you did well. She says, hey, because of this, my two friends and I they always want us to write, finish, and quickly and go home. I'm like, Mama, I, I knelt down yesterday. I said, please, come, let me pray for you. Keep friends aside you here. Study. She says, no, Mama, me never like me friends, so... Because when I don't have the share with me, when I have a share with them, you see, I don't know what to do. God will help her as she grows older. So we are going to pray. Whoever said a word that is working against me, knowingly or unknowingly, some people might do it without knowing. Maybe they just throw a slam and you're like, no, it's just a joke. It's just a joke. This person might not say something that will harm me, but you are going to pray. Whoever speak a word against me, that is working against me and my family, my children. Whoever say a word, intentionally or unintentionally, Father, please help me. Deliver me. Set me free in the name of Jesus. Father, set my children free. If you are here, you are a mother. Pray for your children. If you are here, you are a father. Intercede for your children. If you are here, you, you, you say, uh, my life has been going the way it is. Please, Father, God help me. Then you are going to pray for yourself. You are going to open your mouth and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, Lord, whoever says something that is working against me, whoever has cursed me that is working against me, knowingly and unknowingly, Father, please, I plead the blood of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus set me free. Let the blood of Jesus set my family free. Let the blood of Jesus set my children free. Go ahead and make that a prayer point. Lord, I pray. Whoever said a word that is working against me. Whoever said something that is working against my family. Whoever said something that is working against my family. Knowing and unknowingly. I plead the blood of Jesus over my life. I plead the blood of Jesus over the life of my family. Lord, I begin to plead the blood of Jesus over the life of your people. I hide under the grace of my Father. I begin to pray. As we join our faith together, every curse over our lives are broken. Every curse that was being made, Lord, it is broken in the name of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over our lives. We plead the blood of Jesus. The curse are broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Every marital curse is broken in the name of Jesus. Every financial curse is broken. Broken. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every limitation curse is broken. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we begin to plead your blood. We begin to plead your blood. We plead the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. Oh Lord, set us free in the name of Jesus. Break every yoke, every curse that is working against us. Knowing and unknowing, we begin to break it right now, Lord. Magododo boshi na baraka tosha, ekrusa proshe ko paruaka, ele brododo do do boshi kapala kateya, e baruaka tensha mangala kateya, e ruaka tensha prosu karakata, e rakosha ka rakosha ka, e ruaka tensu kabaraka tensha ka. We begin to plead the blood of Jesus. We begin to plead the blood of Jesus. Everything that is working against us, every word that was.
was being spoken negatively against our destiny, negatively against our marriage, negatively against our finances, negatively against our education, negatively against our relationship. It is broken in the mighty name of Jesus. It is broken in the mighty name of Jesus. It is broken in the mighty name of Jesus. It is broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, 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 people of God, pray. At this point in time, you don't need to be quiet. Your destiny is on the table. You might not know who has spoken the word that is working against you. You might be suffering because you're being catch somewhere. You might be suffering because of a word that was being spoken. This is the time that is being given to you. This is an opportunity that the Lord has given to you. Pray, 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 pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, every spirit of killing, stealing, and destroy, it begins to break it right now. We begin to break that test right now. We break it in the mighty name of Jesus. We break it in the mighty name of Jesus. We break it in the mighty name of Jesus. We break it in the mighty name of Jesus. I join my faith with yours in the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone that was been speaking against us, speaking against our marriage, against our finances. Yahweh is breaking it in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. I make a prophetic declaration on that grace. By the reason of your presence in this session. Eh, kabanaka yakesha. Eh, sakonshaka. By the reason of your presence in this session. Le koparua kate yakonshaka. Every word that was being speaking against you, knowing and unknowingly. Ha, we plead the blood of Jesus under grace. God is setting you free in the name of Jesus. I say Yahweh is setting you free in the name of Jesus. The Lord is setting you free in the name of Jesus. The Lord is setting you free in the name of Jesus. The Lord is setting you free in the name of Jesus. My God goodness. I see five people. I say the Lord is setting you free in the name of Jesus. I see five family here. The Lord is setting this family free in the name of Jesus. I see a little boy being set free. I see a little boy being set free. Set free, Masikalata. I see a little boy being set free, and I see a little boy being set free. I see a marriage that was being catch. I see a marriage that was being catch. No finances, no open doors. They have been living from hand to mouth. I see the Lord setting that marriage free in the mighty name of Jesus. Masa busa kayatesha, erusa busa kayatesha ka, eko bravolo tonshaka. There is someone I see your palms. I cannot get a shaka. You want money and money don't stand in your hands. No matter what you do, you cannot give an account for that money that you have received. You have the money and you cannot do anything tangible with it. I see the holes that are in your palm. There is it's a lady. I see God. I see that hole being sealed in the mighty name of Jesus. God is sealing that hole. After today, you will work money and you will give accountability for that money. You will, you will do the tangible things with your money. In the mighty name of Jesus. That hole in your pants. Whenever you work money, you cannot attest what you have done with it. I see God setting you free. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. The Lord is saving. Oh, my God. I see people being set free. My God, goodness. I see people being set free. I see people being set free. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. I see a lot of people being set free. There is another person. You have been tied on a tree. Spiritually, I see you being tied on a tree. I see the Lord untying you. My God, goodness. There is another person. Wherever you see, you feel like things are moving directly on your face. You feel these little, little things moving on your face. 
shakalata. I see that cobweb falling off. I see that cobwebs falling off. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will no longer experience it. The veil was being tied on your face that you will not attract anything good. It is being fallen off in the name of Jesus. It is being fallen off in the name of Jesus. It is being fallen off in the name of Jesus. Hey, the Lord is walking signs and wonders. The Lord is touching his people. Igabrosu gabarakate yakata. Eruakate shikalata. Eko brosu na pati di 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 baro baba ba shake ya. Ah ya konso mono koyoto. Esu gabaruakate kalata. E nasi brako shikalata. That curse is broken over your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Hiding on that grace, I make a prophetic declaration. Every financial limitation that word was being spoken for you not to manifest your finances, it is being broken in the name of Jesus. Every word that was being placed on your marriage, it is being broken in the name of Jesus. Every word that was being placed on your finances, it is broken in the name of Jesus. No more limitation, no more stagnation, no more limitation, no more stagnation, no more limitation, no more stagnation. No more stagnation. In the mighty name of Jesus, I use each and every one of you that are present here that are having children, grandchildren, grandson. I want to use you to pray for them. I use you all as a point of contact to your children. Whoever spoke a word against their life, that you know nothing of, that is working against them. You yourself as a mother, you grew them up in a very nice way. But when you give them order, they don't hear from you. You can no longer control the way they are going. You speak to them and they don't listen. You can no longer talk to them. You can no longer bring them back to the right path. By the reason of your presence in this session, May God honor you with his word. May God set them free in the name of Jesus. May my God set them free in the name of Jesus. Under the grace of my Father, I make a prophetic declaration. May my God set them free in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Your children are free. You might not know how they are suffering a lot. They can go to school and maybe they can meet teachers that don't like them. And they might be saying ill words. That might corrupt their mind and they, when they get to believe it, it start working for them. And they might not come and tell you because they have made friends in school that they really like because they know that if they tell you, you might want to remove them from that same school and you, are, you might want to send them somewhere else. Whereas because of their friends, they just want to stay in there and go through the persecution and go through the abuse and go through whatever thing they are going through. That is why you must make your children your friend. Always make sure you interview them and know what is actually happening to them. Always make sure you talk to them and know each and every friend that they make because you don't know what they go through daily. You don't know the kind of words that they might be using on them. They will come and they will not tell you because they are protecting their own interests of being with their friends. I make a prophetic declaration on that grace. Whoever say what that is working against your children, that you can no longer put them into control. May God help you, help your family. In the mighty name of Jesus. May my good God save you and save your family. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Go ahead and begin to thank the Lord. Thank the Lord somebody. Thank this awesome session where you bless and did you receive the word with gladness you say woman of god i was so blessed and this word is exactly for me and i prayed and me i just made this prayer i feel a lightning in my spirit you might not understand what it means and for what to work against you how about about shikalata shakayate if you once been there you are going to understand what i'm talking about if you were blessed just go ahead and bless the name of the lord just bless the name of the Lord. Just bless the name of Yahweh. We bless your name, King of Glory. Only you receive all the glory and adoration. Just bless the name of the Lord. Before you go, we will take the book of Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 20, 29. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 29. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 29. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. I read in the name of Jesus. Let no one corrupt communication process out of your mouth. I take it again in the name of Jesus. Let no one corrupt communication process out of your mouth. But that which in, in, is good to use, to edify, that is, okay, I take it again in the name of Jesus. Let no one corrupt communication process out of your mouth. But that which is good to, to the use of edifying, that is that it may grace unto the haters, to the hearers. 
any word you hear and be careful what you say. That is what the Bible is emphasizing. Brothers, be careful. Be careful what you tell your children. Be careful the kind of word you use. Words are seed, and may God have graced your tongue. Your, gra your tongue is powerful, especially if you're a mother. Be very careful. Any word you say to your children, it works. So be careful. I pray for you on that grace. May God order your tongue rightly. May God help you in everything you do. May God see you through in the name of Jesus. I see the people that are connecting with their seed. If you want to connect, you want to sow a seed and say, Someone of God, thank you for this message. I'm connecting to this seed that every word that was being spoken over my life, it is broken. Just go ahead and do it. Don't miss this opportunity. Go ahead and do it. Just connect yourself. Connect yourself. Connect yourself. Mam KPL, may God bless you abundantly for your seed. May God bless you abundantly for your seed. Oh, woman of God, Sonel Leopoldin. Thank you so much. Thank you for staying to the end of the session. Thank you so much. It's a privilege to have you here, woman of God. Thank you. Thank you so much. We are honored to have you. Hallelujah. Mam KPL, God bless you for your seed. I used as a point of contact. And yesterday when I called you for prayers, what the enemy was trying to do is to manipulate your family and I saw an attack upon your home. And I want to join my faith with yours and say, whoever is planning evil against your marriage, against your family, it expired in the name of Jesus. It is broken in the name of Jesus. Hiding on that grace, I make a prophetic declaration. You are preserved. Your child is preserved. Your husband is preserved in the name of Jesus. You're going out and coming in his bless in Jesus' mighty name. I use your seed as a point of contact. I activate God's grace over your life and over your family. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. We will talk more better. We will talk more better. Uh, uh, you emailed me yesterday. I'm very sorry. I, I got a little bit busy, so I could not really expand shit. I could not really expand shit what I was trying to tell you, but I will email you. We will talk more better. God bless you. Anthony, um, Anthony God bless you for your seed. Anthony, yourself. Every crisis over your life is broken, over your family is broken in the name of Jesus. Every curse over your life, over your family is broken in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Yes, keep. If you want to connect, just go ahead and connect. We have just a few seconds to go. God bless each and everyone that came here for prayers. May God honor you. Every word of prayers that has been made over your life. Every blessings that have been uh, that has descended from heaven, it is established over your life in the name of Jesus. No weapon formed against you and your family shall prosper in the name of Jesus. You are blessed. Your children are blessed. Your household is blessed. You are preserved. You are secured in the mighty name of Jesus. No word that will be spoken against you shall work. Every evil word shall not work over your life in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you, family. I love you all so much. And please, I will keep announcing our membership. The form is up. If you want to join me to be a member here and you say, it's woman of God. By the grace of God, I have been following your ministry. I want to be a member. You check at my about. You will see it membership. Click and it will take you directly where you can join. And whenever you join, they are going to notify me and I will know that you are part of the members. We can be praying here all the time. But when you become a constant member, I know that it's my responsibility. Not that you are not my responsibility now. But with more attention, we'll be paid to you. And anytime you get to me, definitely I will sacrifice the time so that I can reach out and we pray together. So if you want to be a member, do not hesitate. Just go ahead and do it. Just go ahead and do it. God bless you. God bless you. I think I already have three people that are want, don't want to be members. That wants to be when you join immediately, your name is gonna be different, and you yourself you're gonna see it. God bless you, great people of God. Thank you all that have been so consistent. May God reward you abundantly in the name of Jesus. For those that are coming new for their very first time, I hope you were so blessed. Do not hesitate. Same time tomorrow, we will be here, we will be praying. Yes, we will be praying. The beauty of prayer is resolved, and God does nothing to mankind unless the response of prayers. We are going to be here and we will be praying. Don't miss out. If you can invite a family member, go ahead and do it. If you can invite, just go ahead and do it. And tomorrow, you're going to be mentioning where you are praying for 
where you are praying from, the country in which you are in, I'm going to be interceding so greatly. There are some countries you get into and doors start closing for you automatically. You don't know what is happening. You walk money there, you don't see. You don't have peace of mind in that country. And maybe you get in, you cannot get a visa. Anything can happen. So you will mention your country in which, where you are praying. So that I take it down and I jot it directly where I will, I will be jotting your name. So that name, so that when I'm interceding for you, I know how to connect yourself and I know how to pray for the land to open up for you. Your feet must possess that land in order for things to work for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. I bless you in the name of the Lord. On that grace, I make a prophetic declaration. Your going out and coming in is blessed. Whatever thing you touch this week is blessed. Whatever thing you touch this week is blessed. You will testify in the name of Jesus. Every curse that has been broken. And every prayer you have been asking the Lord to do for you. is start manifesting today in the name of Jesus. I await your testimony. The Lord await your testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus. Your children are preserved. No one will speak ill word against their lives. No one will speak words that will work against them in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name. I plead the blood of Jesus over your life. I plead the blood of Jesus over your family. You are preserved. You are protected. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Go ahead and thank the Lord. If you have a prayer request, check out my about. You will see my email. Iris Flower. Just check there and do not hesitate. Send in your, your prayer request. If you have a body in your heart, you want me to pray with you, just send it and we are going to pray together. God bless you so much, family. I love you so much. I, I love you. You are blessed beyond curse. You are lifted. The hand of the Lord is resting upon you. The peace of the Lord comes upon you and your family. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. God bless you, family. I love you all so much. And I will see you tomorrow. For those that have sown their seed, May God honor your seed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. I love you. Bye-bye. Inshallah.